The church shooting in Charleston raised new safety concerns within congregations right here in the mountains. Yeah, and today, local police addressed those worries head on by hosting a church security training event. News 13's Ashley Searles was there. She joins us live from Hendersonville. And Ashley, officers gave them some tips. That's right, and some of these tips are actually pretty easy to implement. It's just that we've never really had to go to those lengths. But judging by the number of people that showed up at this event this afternoon, it appears that we may be looking at a new normal. About 150 people came out this afternoon. These were local church leaders and members who want to be prepared if an active shooter enters church doors. Police told them to have a lockdown plan in place. A staffer blows a horn or sounds an alarm and church doors get locked. And that might mean for some churches adding barriers and lockable doors throughout the building. Also, officers said some security cameras run just 100. Take a listen to some folks at this workshop this afternoon. Well, for that, I think that, you know, it's a sad situation, but it's come to that point. It is a quiet town, and we hope it never happens here. But we want to be sure, and we want to provide this service, if nothing else, to comfort the community. Now, the Hendersonville police chief you just heard there hosted this event. He grew up going to Mother Emanuel Church in Charleston where this tragedy happened. Chief Blake said in a mass casualty situation, being prepared can make a world of difference. And today, police here also told churches to reach out to the department. Officers can come out and do an on-site risk assessment to tell you what could be possible weaknesses. They also recommended that congregations reach out to one another to exchange tips. But, you know, officers at this event also stress that from here on out, churches are going to need to manage that balance, strike the right balance, the very important one of managing the safety, security of the church and the congregation, but also providing a church that's welcoming and open to strangers, which I think is something that's important to a lot of us in a place of worship. Reporting live in Hendersonville, I'm Ashley Searles, News 13.